Everybody. Hey everybody. Welcome to 10 Minutes with Teddy and Tina. A discussion of life, love, family, and faith. Yeah. So this topic of discussion is called Special Wrestling. Special Wrestling. I believe this is going <laughs> to bless the people. Okay. Because God gave me that actual uh, phrase, that actual um, explanation for what the people was doing. So um, explain, explain it. Explain it. Uh, to people. The Lord Jesus. Breaks my heart even when I think about it. So, um, Teddy and Tina got caught by caught. a dear sweet first daughter, Leia. Um, caught, caught doing what? So, let me tell you what happened. So, here we come. We coming back home from church. I'm looking good. He's being very motivated about his wife looking good. We got Leia and Mila. Leia's like six. Mila's like maybe almost two or Leia's like, Leia's, no, Leia's five. She's five and Mila's one, almost two or something like that. So Teddy's excited. Teddy don't want to go into the room. Teddy don't want to go hide somewhere. Teddy wants to get right and go forth. I'm like, honey, we can, come on, baby. We can't do this. These the kids and all. Me? It, it was absolutely your fault. It was absolutely your fault, Teddy, because okay. you didn't have you didn't have keep no going. limitations and no boundaries or whatever. You ain't really care about the kids or nothing. You just keep going. You had a situation. So right. so Teddy wants to go forth. So his wife's like, okay. So, so we in the, we in the floor, y'all going forth, y'all in the basically in the lobby of the house, just. Just clothes drop down, going forth in the name of Jesus. I guess mommy's a little noisy. So I look up and I see Leia at the top of the stairs. I almost lost. I was like, oh my God, oh God, Teddy, oh God, fix it, the baby, the baby, fix it, fix it, fix it. So Teddy's screaming. I didn't, I didn't know what to do. I was losing my mind because I was just like, we just ruined this child. So I'm just like, oh God, oh God, fix it, Teddy, fix it, fix it. So Teddy's like, Leia, go in the room. And she's like, what are you doing? He's like, Leia, Leia, go in the room. What are you doing? And he was like, Leia, go in the room. So she finally goes in the room. So he jumps up, we pull clothes up. I go into the kitchen, I'm crying. My entire, my entire spirit is broken. I don't know what to do with myself because I have violated and ruined my child and gave her the most horrific visual. So Teddy's upstairs trying to explain it. He's up there saying something about, I was tickling mommy and she was laughing and Leia was like, you were not tickling her and that is not how she laughs. He was like, no, Leia, she was laughing. She was not laughing. And he trying, whatever he's doing, it's not working. I'm in the kitchen losing my mind because I was like, he's not fixing it. He's not fixing it. So she's ruined and we did it. So he finally finishes all his presentation. I don't know if it worked or what. So Leia walks downstairs at five years old, y'all. And y'all know what she said to me? I was sitting at the kitchen. She walked in. I had my head, I held my head down because I couldn't face the girl. She said, what you were doing was very private. You should have went in another room. I don't ever want to see that again. Y'all know what I said with my head down? Okay. The end. So wait, so, wait, wait. T tell the people how the name special wrestling game. We'll see the next day. So I called my mother and I'm, I'm losing my mind. I'm like, mom, I know one of us caught you and you had to deal with this. It was nine of us. Please tell me what to do because what I'm like, my daughter gonna be a hoe and it's gonna be my fault because she saw mommy down there and then she don't know if daddy was trying to kill me. She just know that I'm down there screaming and we, we were trying to explain it wasn't working. I don't know what to do. Help me fix it. And mama was like, don't draw it out. Don't keep talking to her long. Talk to her about it one time and tell her, it, you know, you know that it's, it's what mommy and daddies do. You, you know, just ask God. He'll show you how to show it to her. He said, but talk about it. She said, talk about it one time and don't hit it again. Don't talk about it anymore. So I'm praying and I'm begging and pleading with God. God, show me what to say because this was not right for this child to see that visual. That wasn't right. So what do I say? So in the moment we talking, I was just like, okay, okay. I was like, Leigh, you know how daddy plays wrestling with you guys all the time with you and me, and he's tickling you and he's wrestling you and all that kind of stuff and you have so much fun because that's how daddy, you and daddy play. I was like, well, mommies and daddies have um, 
they play differently. And it's, it's, it's like special wrestling. And I went through explaining it. Special wrestling is something I was like, you remember when, remember we saw the video of the wedding and mommy and daddy and we came down the aisle and we kissed and we got married and I had the dress on. When we got married, the way we play with each other as mommy and daddy is we have special wrestling, but it's only what you do when you're married and you stood before a preacher <laughs> and you told God, I'm going to be with them forever. And so that's how I came up with the whole idea of special wrestling. But I was like, special wrestling is only for when you're married. First of all, sex is healthy. Yes, it is. It's a healthy thing, just not in front of the kids. All right? Right. Uh, now, look, I, I got a scripture. Now, y'all know we're going to ask for scripture. Exactly. I got a scripture back Got here. to. All right. Sex is healthy. Okay, look. 1 Corinthians 7, 3 and 4. Mm -hmm. The husband should fulfill his wife's sexual needs, and the wife should fulfill her husband's needs. The wife gives authority over her body to her husband, and the husband gives authority over his body to the wife. Listen, your that? body don't belong to you. It does that not. That body all over my body is my <laughs> body. My body, baby. <laughs> Listen, did so, you hear the scripture? So That's the word of God. Give him where it's found, Teddy, because so they don't believe it. 1 7, 3 through 4. Bring it on, Your it's mine. body, your body is not your body. Here you go, Daddy. That booty belongs to me. <laughs> All right. <laughs> but nevertheless, nevertheless, one of the fruits of the spirit is self-control. You've got to control yourself. We, I was not walking in the spirit. We were not walking in the spirit. We didn't have none of the fruits of the spirit operating in us. Piece of self didn't have no self-control. And so that's how we lost it. All right. Now, listen. So I'm going to give you a couple points that's going to help you with your appointments. Right. All right. Here we go. Point number one. When you have kids, set an appointment for sex. You just yeah. can't randomly rogue, go all out, just do it. I'm going to do it wherever, whenever I want it. No, let's see. We going to listen, baby. At tonight. 730 tonight. <laughs> we going to have a date night first. I want to get you ready. It, yeah. But then when we get back home, we going to get it in. Number two. Your appointment. This is number two. number two. The best place for your uh, appointment is the bedroom mm -hmm. with the doors closed and locked. Well... Maybe the best place ain't the bedroom because we got some we got some spots around this house. Listen, this house is a wonderland, and the Lord allows wonderful things to happen. But you know okay. what? That's why we got called special wrestling. Number two is set the appointment in your bedroom with the doors locked and closed. <laughs> and then when you believe that your door is locked, get up and check it again. Because if you got a kid like Santana, they'll fool around and bust in. They'll find a way to pick that up <laughs> and jack you all up. And you be in there. Ah, ah. Speaking of I, I, point number three. <laughs> If way. you're noisy, <laughs> if you're one of them noisy lovers, <laughs> have some music playing to drown out the noise. Listen. Or put a pillow you, over somebody's <laughs> head. Well, no, that'll, that'll fool around and take, send them to go on and be with the Lord. So we, we yeah, don't, don't know. That was bad how advice. I don't know how that how happened. How did that? On top of it. <laughs> <laughs> you remember that line? Okay. Right. Listen. No all right. Don't, don't put no pillows over nobody's head. That was very bad advice. Just yeah, put the music don't on do loud. That. First of all, yeah, it, you have to drown out the noise because, first of all, kids, they too young, man. They can't process that. They, they don't know what that is. If they hear something like that, they're going to process it out themselves. And exactly. they might. Uh, they might even or they might it connect out. it to something they done seen on the internet, or they might be like Leah was saying, "No, they you wasn't laughing, you was not laughing, and that was not no tickling." <laughs> one of the things that one of my friends told me, um, I was telling her how we got caught special wrestling, and she was telling me how one of her sons, her, her he was a young teenage son, maybe twelve, preteen, twelve, thirteen, walked in while she was going forth on his daddy, and she said that he was just ruined. So when they, when they went, they went on and finished. They didn't stop. They just told him to go out and they finished service. And um, so she she went into his room. He's sitting there with the cover over his head. He won't take it down. He he don't want to face the woman. He's just he just messed up. And she said, "Son, I need to talk to you." And he was like, "No, just he don't want to deal with it, right?" And she was like, "Son, I need to talk to you and listen to me. I am not going to apologize for having a healthy, happy marriage." She was like, "This is God ordained for husbands." And wives, this is not something that you were supposed to see, but you was also not supposed to bust into our room without knocking on the door. Um, but we are happy, and we're supposed to be happy, and we're supposed to feel each other's need, fulfill each other's needs sexually, because that's God's will. That's why mommy and daddy don't have to have a chick on the side because we're fulfilling a chick on the side or a man on the side. And so she said, "You go, and you gonna be all right." And she told me she said he didn't want. He just he couldn't he couldn't accept that thing. And she said, "You're gonna be all right. You're and gonna be all right. You're listen, not scarred. You're gonna be all right." That's a that's a good opportunity for us to teach our kids. 
instead of having the culture teach them, instead of having TV shows teach them, instead of having their friends at school teach them. Magazines, it is our it, It's our job to teach them and show them what a healthy sex life is like and what it is. So well, not show to, them. We don't not like show, show well, them. You know what I meant. But, we, you, but you said showing the people. Not the show them. Don't but, show them because that's how we. That's why we ended up with this. Segment called special wrestling. <laughs> tell you them. The child messed, messed tell, up. The, tell your children what it is designed for so they will have a healthy perspective of it. Yeah. A lot of people in church don't have a healthy perspective of it because we haven't been told mm -hmm. what it's for and you know the beauty of it. So And I will tell you this, like sometimes my mother gets on me because my mom, my mom, honey, is here helping us with the kids. She get on me and Teddy because we we just we just kiss and hug and feel on each other all day. But that's how we live. That's mm -hmm. that is who we are. It's not mm -hmm. an act. And she was like, you know, the kids don't need to see that. And I'm like, mommy, they do need to see that mommy and daddy are healthy and happy and affectionate. We hug and kiss and rub all over them. Mm -hmm. Like, they need to know that with a husband and wife, this is like my boyfriend, mommy's like his girlfriend. Self-control. We, like we, do, we, we don't go too far. We don't be like in each other's clothes and all that kind of stuff. But we, we will give each other a slow, smooth kiss and rub our hands down each other's back and all that. And the kids need to see that, right? <laughs> yes, they do. We go too far. Okay. All, all right, listen. That's what this segment is about. Special, <laughs> Special wrestling. wrestling. Now, to help bless the people. May the <laughs> blessings of the Lord that make rich and add no sorrow forever be yours. We will see you in... Oh,